All right, now I'm going to show a few different string methods that you can use. All right, we got a few here. Um, now here we have the string variable cool string, and uh, that's going to be used to show how several different methods will uh, work on it. So um, we just have a normal piece of code here that uh, creates a string reference variable, cool string and it holds the value the real deal. Now I'll explain what this does here. The first method I'm showing is the length method. Now when this method is called it simply returns the number of how many characters are in the string. The number that it is the number that is returned is of course an int. Um, so we created the string string length int variable to store the length of cool string. The length ends up, of course, being 13. So that's how that works there. Um, so this whole piece of code right here returns the number 13 and uh, it's stored in string length. Now the next method shown here is a uh, called substring and this is the version that just takes in one int argument which is uh, this 9 right here. Now this method will return a string that is a substring of the original string. Now one thing that needs to be understood about this is that a string has index positions that specify the location of each character and it starts with 0. So index 0 for this string would be t. That's the first index. 1, index 1, would be h. And index 2 would be e. And so on. Now down here, the substring returned will be a string that begins with the index specified by this int argument here that's passed through. And that will go to the end of the string. So the starting point is the index passed in the argument and uh, then it just returns the rest of the string after that. So for instance here, this piece of code is going to return the string deal, as I'm indicating here, because index 9 is the character D. And it will return the rest of the original string starting with that index. So we end up with deal as the string being returned. So this whole method returns deal and this uh, partial string, this variable called partial string holds it. And uh, I'll show you this next one here. Okay, now the next method 
is uh, is another substring method but instead of taking one in argument it takes two um, you can probably already guess what this is going to be um, this works you know, exactly the same as the first except you can specify the beginning and the ending of the string you want to return now the way the ending position is determined is um, slightly different from the beginning um, you would think that you could put 47 here and have it return real because L is in 7, this L right here. But that's not exactly how it works. Um, the first argument is the beginning index, which would be the R. But the second argument is not the ending index. It's um, the second argument is actually technically ending index minus one. So to get index seven, I have to put eight in there. Not exactly sure why it's like this, but uh, it's pretty easy to catch on to. Um, in this method, I usually like to think that the first argument is the exact index. Um, so R would be the first index. And, um, and the second argument is the actual character length to cover. And it's, since L is really the eighth character in the string, it makes sense to think of it like this, that it's going to cover eight characters. So starting with four and going up to the eighth character length, we're going to have real be returned from this piece of code and stored into partial string. All right. Now I got a couple more to share. All right. Now these next two methods are pretty uh they're pretty self-explanatory. We have um two uppercase and two lowercase. And all that does is it takes a string that uh that called the method and this one returns uppercase. So it returns the real deal in all capital letters. And the second one does the exact opposite. It just takes, um, it turns all of the characters into lowercase characters. So you have two uppercase, which returns all caps, and two lowercase, which returns all lowercase letters. And uh, I will, um, I'll go ahead and print out each of these for you and uh, run the program just to kind of give you an idea how they work. All right, now I will uh, go ahead and run this. And 
and as you can see here we have the length first printed out and that uh, returns 13 which shows how long um, how long this string literal is and then we have deal returned from the substring call real returned from the substring call with two arguments and the real deal in all caps from all uppercase and the real deal in lowercase which is from this all lower string variable and um, well I hopefully I've given a good explanation a good basic explanation anyway about a few of the things that that can be done with strings alright thank you very much